Stormer took a little while, but the offense did get going in the second half. Uh, your thoughts overall? Um, a win's a win. You know, of course, we got to break down the film and grow from it. It's always growth. But um, I'm proud of my team. You know, we come out here and, like you said, it started slow. We picked it up in the second half. Um, did some good things offensively. Um, so, you know, you always got to take away the positives from it. We did a lot of positive things tonight, but um, like I said, we're going to break down the film and we will grow. That first drive in the second half, 16 plays, and then you, Chris, Ryan, Seth, Victor, Rommel, like all of you at carries. Was that something that was talked about at, at halftime that you guys need to run the ball, run the ball, run the ball? Um, it wasn't necessarily talked about. I mean, you know, the players you name, we, we took it upon ourselves. And I mean, our coaches did as well. You know, we just, we just had to come out faster, you know, and we made our minds up that we wanted to score um, immediately. And, um, you know, I guess that gave us a little extra charge, extra boost. So um, just lowered our pads, hit the hole, and that was the result. What was that pep talk like, uh, that halftime talk in the locker room? Uh, you know, it, it wasn't really much of a, it was just telling us we know what we're doing, calm down, you know, get the jitters out, the jitters are gone, just be yourself and be who you are, and um, just execute out there. That, that was pretty much it. What did you think of Seth's performance? Um, this doesn't change, his performance doesn't change the way I feel about him. I've been on his team since he stepped on campus, like I've said in multiple interviews. I've been impressed from the first day he touched campus. I knew this was going to happen. I mean, y'all may be surprised, but I'm, I'm one of his biggest fans. You know, I don't, I, I don't hide it at all. I'm proud of him. I will always be proud of him. I'm more proud of him off the field than I am on the field. So, I mean, that's a lifelong brother for me. Um, you know, just the way he handled himself today, the way he was taking command of the huddle, everything. You know, he, he, he's a guy who doesn't blink. And um, words can't express how proud I am of that young man. You say you expected this, but was there a moment tonight where you're like, yep, this is what I thought I would, I would see? Uh, probably the hurdle. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I was, uh, when he did the hurdle, I was like, all right, uh, I, I, I wanted to see the hurdle. But um, other than that, like I said, I wasn't surprised at all by his performance. That's, that's, that's who Seth Collins is. You know, he's, he's a guy who's, who's always locked in. He stays focused. He loves football. He, 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 he truly loves football. He embraces the grind. He embraces, he understands the practices of Monday through, well, this week, Monday through Thursday, how important it is to keep getting locked in. I mean, you know, it, I'm impressed. Uh, Strong, what about the defense? Oh, my goodness. Uh, again, wasn't surprised with the defense. We've been playing them all fall camp. <laughs> um, a lot of guys flying around, making plays. Um, very positive, you know, from Coach Kalani on down. Uh, the defense, they did some great things tonight. And um, they had our backs. So it's pretty good. How much did it help to be live tackling back in spring and then all fall camp? Uh, it helped a lot. You know, you can't, you really don't want to go into a game not being tackled a lot. You know, you, you, want, you want your body to get somewhat banged up in camp, so it's not such of a shock in the game. And um, like I said, going against those guys, you're taking two or three shots every play, how they swarm to the ball. So um, I, we were very prepared.